what to say. Um, I guess hi guys is a good place to start. This is the most shambolic introduction to a video ever. Okay, I think I'm gonna start this again. I guess if any of you are still here from nine months ago welcome back I love you all so so much if you've come back to watch this video after the most ridiculously long break on my channel I appreciate you to levels you could not even imagine and I hope that I can make these nine months up to you with loads of great content coming soon and if you are new here Hey, my name is Lucy. I am a 2021 drama school graduate. I did musical theatre at the Erdang Academy. I am now currently an unemployed actress, I guess you could say, but I'm very far from unemployed. I have many, many different jobs and I just want to get back to documenting my life. I loved filming YouTube videos. I did it for around three years, basically my whole time at Erdang and I absolutely loved it. And I accidentally stopped, but I'm back. And I'm so happy about it. I'm absolutely terrified, but I'm also really happy about it. If you would like to see videos from me, then please do hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back. I would love to have you on this kind of chapter two journey of Lucy on YouTube. Do give this video a thumbs up if you're excited. And in this video, I'm just gonna kind of chat you through why I've been gone for nine months, what's been going on, what I wanna do in the future, where I kind of wanna take my channel. Let's just get into it because I feel this is gonna be rambly and I wanted it to be short and sharp and to the point. So, let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. I just disappeared off the face of the earth for nine months. Not quite off the face of the earth, I have still been active over on TikTok and Instagram, but in terms of YouTube, I literally pre-filmed videos for going on holiday to Barbados, which was in like March, I think, and I uploaded while I was away and then I came back and it all kind of unraveled from there. Last time I spoke to you guys, I was in a different setting. I was living in a house share with four of my lovely friends, Eleanor, Reese, Ella, and Gabby in South London. And as you will know, if you watch the vlog, we had a little bit of a situation when we moved into the house. It all got sorted, we all got settled. I loved my room, I loved living with those guys. But honestly, in the end, the house just turned out not to be the right place for any of us. Lots of different things things happened in all of our lives and it just turned out not to be the right situation. Now we have not all fallen out, we are still friends so there is no beef, no drama there but we don't live together anymore, we don't live in that house anymore. So we put the house up on spare room and it went extraordinarily, <laughs> extraordinarily, extraordinarily, extraordinary, very quickly. It kind of to all of our surprise, yeah, then we were moving out and None of us really had anywhere to go. I went to Dubai on holiday with my friend Thisby, and then I came back, I moved out into my boyfriend Jamie's flat, which was very, very kind of him. He said to me, why don't you just move in with me for a month while you figure out what you are doing with your life and where you're going, which was extremely kind of him, and I literally cannot thank him enough for that. I will honestly never be able to explain my gratitude for him for doing that for me. So I moved in with him for what was meant to be a month, turned out very much not to be a month but he was so kind to let me stay we had the best time i loved living there but it is way too early on in our relationship for us to be living together so we have not fallen out we have not broken up it's just way too early for us to live together we literally have not even been together a year yet and we want to have all those things to look forward to what happened was i ended up living with jamie kind of on and off for march april may june july six months and in two of those months i moved in with family friends in london they had a spare room that i was able to stay in for two months and i lived there for two months which was amazing and i actually managed to stay in the area that i am now living in because they live in the same area which is amazing i lived with them for two months and i lived with jamie for the rest of the six months so for four months at jamie's essentially and two months at theirs and honestly i just felt like i made the choice to share my life on the internet jamie and and the boys didn't. As much as they all said I could film when and where I wanted, I don't want to be putting other people's lives out on the internet. I didn't want to put anyone in a situation where that was being forced upon them. I just decided to take a step back from YouTube. I still did TikTok because TikTok's a little bit easier. It's easier to just do little bits here and there. That happened. Then in August, 
end of August. I moved into this flat. I absolutely love it with my whole entire heart. I am so, so grateful to be living here. I'm so happy here. Obviously, I still go stay at Jamie's and he comes here. So that's really, really nice. We felt for us, it was important for us to have our own spaces, especially this early on in our relationship. Like it's literally not even been a year. And in that year I have moved in with him for six months. Like that's quite a lot. But you know, he's a good egg and he put up with me and he really helped me out and so did the boys letting me live with them. Yes, I've been here since August and it's now near the end of October and this is the first time I'm filming a video, but I've just been putting it off to be honest. I've been a bit scared. I just kind of thought no one would actually want me to film a video <laughs> and no one would want me to come back. So I've really been putting it off. I did film a random vlog about a month and a half ago and I just thought I can't just arrive back after like six months with a vlog. Like that's just so wrong. I need to address this situation. In terms of content, this is also a thing that I was starting to struggle with and also another reason why I feel I stopped. It was just convenient that the house stuff happened at the same time. My content first started to do well when I started talking about drama school and auditions and all those kind of things because I was at drama school and that's given me my little niche and I absolutely love it. And I'm not saying I'm not gonna talk about drama school anymore, I will. But the thing is drama school is now not a part of my everyday life. I'm not at drama school, I've graduated. Sadly, musical theater is not always a part of my everyday life as well because I'm not working yet as a performing actress the key word being yet. Essentially, I'm not saying I'm not gonna talk about drama school, but it's not gonna be the entirety of my content anymore because I just felt it was kind of keeping me stuck in the past. And I wanna move into this new chapter of my life of being a graduate and working lots of jobs and auditioning and doing all those kind of things. So I hope that you guys understand that kind of choice from my side. 100% still gonna do some drama school content, but it's not gonna be the majority anymore like it once was. If you have any suggestions, any requests, for content, please pop it in the comments. I would appreciate it so, so much because I'm super nervous and I obviously just want to make what you guys want to see. Okay, right, I need to stop talking now. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all incredible amounts. Please do subscribe if you want to see more videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for me to be back. And I really hope to see you soon. I really don't know if anyone's gonna watch this video, but if you have and you've made it to the end, thank you. You're the best and I love you all. Bye.